Welcome back to What's Inside Family. Today we're gonna do a very, very requested video. A couple of months ago, we did a kids room tour video of our house and one of the comments on Lincoln's room was really, really popular. And so we're gonna do it in the video today. What's inside my shoe collection? Would okay. you consider yourself a sneakerhead? Sneakerhead. Maybe. What does a sneakerhead mean? Someone who really loves shoes and oh. talks about them a lot. About four years ago, I went to Nike headquarters and I got to design my own shoe and meet Tinker Hatfield and I got to design my own Air Max One. If you haven't seen those videos, we'll link them here. Lincoln didn't know as much about shoes back then. He had some no. LeBron James custom ID shoes back then. But and that he, was pretty much it. it and it seemed like shoes. it was even a couple years after that. He still didn't really get into it as much, but then all of a sudden, as he got older, he just started recognizing shoes. I think it's with some of the apps that have come out. StockX is one of them. This is not an ad for StockX. We're not sponsored by them or anything, but a lot of the shoes that we've purchased lately have come off of StockX because we know 100% that they're real. How StockX works is the person who originally bought the shoes, they sell them and ship them to StockX and then they verify to see if they're real. Then StockX sends it to you and you can keep them for a while and just resell them for more money. You can see the prices of different shoes going up and down. And once you see that, you're like, oh man, these shoes have value. Air Max One Chinatown 2020. These are some recent shoes that I just got and I've only wore a couple times because I don't know, like during quarantine, like I don't really go many places. Like I don't travel or anything. So I don't really wear that many shoes, but this is a really cool pair. So I know that these ones are real. They feel real, the size feels correct. In the past, I would just go like these shoes right here. These are the Yeezy Turtle Doves, the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn. Yes. Seriously, they're Very amazing. Cool. You can see how dirty they are. We first bought them and we were like, this is such a joke. Who would want to pay this much for shoes? And they look kind of dumb. Yeah, too. and I thought they looked really dumb, but yeah. now I've worn them a ton. Like you can see on the sides, it's totally worn and cracked, but they're yeah. still incredibly comfortable, easy to put on. I bought these on eBay back when we made that video and I was going to be going to a Kanye concert. I thought it'd be perfect to have him sign it and then we go cut them in half. Well, back when I bought this, you could still buy shoes and buy real shoes for a lot of money. Turns out now, if you go onto eBay, you can buy some Yeezys and you can buy different shoes yeah. like I did for these. For $100 cheaper than what it was going for on like the major websites and apps. And I was like, I think those are fake. They're like a size too small. They're still very They're like cozy. half a size too small. Yeah. They don't feel as soft when you walk. The boost is not the same. I'm pretty sure, I can't say for certain, but I'm pretty sure that I bought some fakes. These were some of the, like the first shoes that I really, that I looked at on the sneakers app and I found and I was like, whoa, those are very cool. These are Air Force One City Pride. These are like my favorite colors right here. I got these in December. This is one of my favorite pairs. I really like, a couple things I like about this shoe is I love that it has like the baseball yeah. threads on it. And I like this, it's like a satin, satin. feeling on it. Yeah. These are the SB Dunk High Spectrum. These shoes are kind of mismatched. Like the laces are different colors. Everything on this shoe is different. This is all a suede material on this shoe and the colors just look different than any other shoe. I call it the Easter shoe because they're kind of like pastels. Yeah. Even on the back, you can see each shoe is totally different color. This is another pair that I got in December. This was actually for my birthday. This is the Air Fear of God Raid Black version. I do like how when shoes are darker, they don't get as dirty because I don't really like dirty shoes. The air bubble on this is so much different than any other shoe. This shoe probably takes me like two minutes to put on. There are like six different steps oh that you have to take, like, like in the airport, like after going through security, it takes me so long to put these on. <laughs> when we did the video on joy rides, one of the coziest shoes ever, they're at the same level as Boost, which is crazy. I really wanted to get another pair of Joyride, so I got this different version. I actually got to customize these on Nike ID, and this is like if I go to like favorite sport team BYU football games, these are what I like to wear because it really matches their, their colors. I got to actually put my name on them, which I, most Nike IDs, it's like two initials or three initials, but this one actually let you do the full name. This shoe was really fun. This is the Blazer Stranger Things, like the second pack of Stranger Things, like the upside down. That's what these shoes are kind of based off of. So at the beginning, it was just all looked like this, this kind of material that you could, that you can pull off, see? Just like that. So I was like, hey, why don't I just kind of burn off the threads? And that was a terrible decision. <laughs> 
look how bad that looks. <laughs> you can like actually, it's like almost through the entire shoe there. What do people say when you wear those to school? What are those shoes? Did you like destroy them? Did they come like that? So there were lots of strange questions about these ones. What did Boston say? The shoes are very ugly. <laughs> Why would you buy, why would you want those? <laughs> Thanks, Boston. Do not use fire. You want to use like a Dremel. Blazers are, again, super cozy, just like the Fear of Gods, but they take a while to put on. Like, see how high high they are? You have to loosen it down to like right here and then pull off the tongue and then, like there's a lot of really cool details on these. Like on, on the sole, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just a lot of Stranger Things references. So this is the actual box they came in. Um, 1985 Stranger Things. Pretty cool. I accidentally threw away the actual like wrapping of the shoes and they had like a whole map of the Starcourt Mall and stuff. Well, I don't know what they're called. These are shoes that I got in Japan at an Adidas store Adidas. a couple of years ago. Adidas. 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 They look very dirty. Yeah, they're, they're really cool. They have like continental tire tread at the bottom of them. So these are shoes that I do wear if it's like, if I know my shoes are gonna be dirty, but I still want to wear cool shoes. These are the shoes that I got at Comic-Con for Lincoln and I just saw them and I thought, those look so cool. Yeah. And what's that game called that it's based Dragon off of? Dragon Ball Z, I think. Dragon Ball Z, they're like I Dragon don't know Ball what that Z. is. Yeah, they're just know. funky looking, I like yeah. them. These are Paul George 2.5s. They're the PlayStation edition. The reason why we got these shoes is not just for Lincoln to go to Duke basketball camp. Last summer, was it? Two yeah, summers last ago? Summer. Gosh, it's crazy. It was only last summer. It seems like it's been all golf for the last year. Yeah. This is the PlayStation edition. So the front of it is supposed to light up. The tongue lights up. And yeah, it's like a PlayStation I think, collaboration. I think that I wore out like the batteries on them. So like you're pressing, yeah, you're pressing this. Anymore. And if somebody does in the comments know how to fix it, I'd be happy to hear them because I really love these shoes. People at school, these are probably like their favorite shoes. This is the same type of shoe that Zion Williamson was wearing in college, the Paul George 2.5, when his foot completely blew out and exploded yeah. through the Nike shoe. That That's why crazy. we originally got this, because I wanted to take it apart and see what is the weakness? Yeah. Why did this shoe happen? But then Lincoln liked the shoe so much, we ended up keeping him. Didn't make a video on it, but now he has the shoes. Yeah, and they're... They're pretty cozy. What yes. other basketball player shoes do you have? Yeah, Paul I George's. Paul George and LeBron. LeBron Kevin Durant. LeBron Ale Kevin. Oh my god. <laughs> LeBron Durant. Let's do that again. Okay. I also have Kevin Durant 11s. I use these for basketball for many years. They have like React inside of them, I think. There's only one part that I really don't like about these shoes. What's that? This back thing right here, it rubs into your feet so badly. There were holes this deep right here on my ankle. I think I still have the scar a little bit. My foot was bleeding like the entire time. It's like right there. You can kind of see it still. Why and didn't you just cut that part off? I don't know if you can, because then it's still like hard down there, but oh. this is like, oh, a major design rough. flaw. Yeah, and it's not just these shoes. Like my friend Easton, he has a pair of these shoes. He wears them a lot and his, his feet have permanent scars in them also because of these shoes. Like they were bleeding, they were like this deep. I had to get band-aids at least like five a day because they were just blowing through them. Okay, so this so, is interesting because Kevin Durant, you remember we cut open yeah. Kevin Durant's, was it the KD10s? KD10s, yeah. We cut open the KD10s and they had the tinsel fiber inside of them. I think that's what they called mm -hmm. it. They had those for years and this was the first shoe where they decided not to do it, which I thought was interesting. It was after we cut it open and we found that. Part of the problem with the old KD10s is that the tinsel fiber in that whole pocket would collapse and you would lose your air pocket. It happened yeah. so many times. And so they changed it to the Nike React, which is pretty cool. The Nike React is really soft. It's so cozy. I love these shoes, except Just for this thing. Like, get rid of I, that. I'm, I'm actually scared to wear these shoes. Like, <laughs> I have Steph Curry. I don't know what the, about these shoes, really. They look very unique. These are They're pretty cool. Yeah, these were some like really these. rare um, Steph Under Armour, Steph Curry and shoes that they wanted to, that were going really big and I bought them for like a few hundred bucks and then yeah. thought we'd do a video on them. We didn't, but yeah, you got them. Have you Very ever put them shoes. on? I am not actually, Wow. not yet. I have these James Harden. I don't know what these really are called, but this is a really cool shoe. Because do you remember what video we put those in and people got really mad at us? Mm -hmm. It was when we were doing a house tour video and it got all muddy. Oh, at the end of the video, crazy. I'm like, let's throw those away. And everybody was so mad at us. Wow. Goodbye, Adidas. All right, I'm thinking you just leave those shoes here. We don't want those in the car. Just take them off and leave them out here. No, I like these shoes though. That's right. And we I didn't said, throw I, them we away. We did not throw them away because Casey Neistat actually gave me these shoes. We were in a studio in yeah. New York. And he's like, 
what size do you wear? I'm like, size like 10 or something. And he's like, okay, well, I'll give you these shoes. Like in a couple years, you should grow up to size 11. So these are shoes that I do wear. Another shoe, kind of like these ones, that if I know that they're gonna get dirty, like the house tour video, <laughs> um, I do wear them. I see something else up here with an eye on it. That's right. That looks like a basketball yes. player shoe. This is, this is the Kyrie 5 shoe. These are like the all black and then they have like some cool colors on the bottom it's, of What them. is it, like Illuminati or something? Yeah, what I don't those know. Eyes the the on other there? one is weird too. I mean, like these Whoa. are all the Ky Kyrie 5 and then the other, the Kyrie 6s that just barely came out uh, like four months ago or something. They have like another weird like eye thing, like an Egyptian, a, Egyptian? Egyptian. Egyptian yep. person on the back of it. So that's kind of strange. These ones are really cozy too. We also have some Adidas Ultra Boost 20, the space version. We actually did a video on these ones and these are such cozy shoes. There's a few shoes that if you're thinking about comfort, um, that should be good. Like I've referred a lot of Lincoln's friends' dads. I've when they've been like, "What shoes are good? Ultra Boost 20. They don't have to yeah. be in this bright color. They make them in a lot of different colors, like gray and black and white. But it just has tons of boost in it. It's an incredibly yeah. comfortable. Like I would say, like the top three most cozy shoes are like these ones, Yeezys, like any of the Yeezys, like 350, and. Joy rides. Those are such cozy shoes. Another basketball player that we've got on here. These are not like fancy shoes, but no, these are the only them. Kobe's that we have. Where do we get these? We like, got those at a Nike outlet store yeah, in like Prim, Nevada, Nevada, when we yeah. were supercharging and super bored. We were like, hey, these shoes look cool. Look at these Kobe's. They still are really cool shoes. I like how they have like a little guana guy on the back of them. They feel a little bit smaller than most shoes. So those these, ones too. These, these ones are a little bit smaller, at least this particular version. Let's talk about golf shoes. Golf shoes. This is a pair um, in like December that we got just because I just needed some new golf shoes. Like my feet were slipping out and like the Puma ones that I had, Air Max ones, very cozy. This is what I wore at the Farmers Insurance Pro-Am when I played in them. And the grass was super wet there but these shoes really block out any type of rain or grass that's wet, so your socks don't get dirt, like, wet at all. These shoes were first launched by Tony Fino, which is a Utah golfer, awesome guy. <laughs> we love you, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> He's so nice. He knew it was you, Boston. The shoes that I really want to try that are golf shoes that we don't have any yet are the new Adidas shoes. They're looking really good. They're coming up with some really unique designs. Yeah, with we, the boost inside of them. If and Lincoln didn't have six different pair of golf shoes, we'd be buying Adidas as the next one <laughs> just to try it out. Yeah. Speaking of that, let's see more golf shoes. Okay. This is a pair that Tyrell Crosby, who is like the greatest football player. The greatest of all time. The greatest He's the of goat. All time. For my birthday present, he gave me three pairs of Nike golf shoes which was so awesome. I wear these shoes so much. These, these ones just, have like the traditional spikes on them. Yes. This is usually what you see with the golf shoe, these kind of spikes. Yeah, so these ones, those spikes really grip into the ground well. And I just wear these shoes because they don't really have any color on them. This is another pair that Tyrell Crosby gave to me for my birthday present. Which we already had a red pair of those too. Yes, those were your shoes that you always wore. Mm -hmm. The spikes in them are different. They work very well. These are super light shoes. This is... Another pair that Tyrell Crosby gave to us. These are Jordan golf shoes, like the bottom of them, the little jump man. For the last pair of Jordan golf shoes, I just barely got these ones. Which Jordan, is funny, yeah. because they look super worn out because you've been wearing them so much at yeah, golf tournaments. Yeah, I got these like a month ago. The bottom of them look really good on these ones again. How many birdies have you got while wearing those shoes? Oh, more than any of my other golf shoes. <laughs> those are the birdie shoes. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> So I have Jordan 5 highs. These shoes I'm just saving for like a special occasion when I need to wear them. I still haven't worn them yet, we'll still see. <laughs> what kind of special occasion is that? Like the first day back to school? I don't know. Just like a trip or something that we go on. Cause I, I don't know. I just don't want to like really wear out the shoes if I'm not really going anywhere. I want to wear them for my first time, something that's important, you know? Yeah. The bottom does look kind of the same on both of these shoes. They do have the Jumpman kind of in the same place. The thing I'll say about those Jordan 5s is that those are the shoes that I first remember when I was, what year do you think they first came out? Like the original Jordan 5s. It's I like think it might be 91. Oh, 91. 91, so that means I was 11 well, years old. It was around. 
Yeah, right around there. And I remember there was this one kid in my class. I think it was uh, Matthew Sorensen was his name. And he came to school with the black version of those. And I've never felt envy of shoes before in my life until that day. We shopped at Payless for all of our shoes growing up, which Payless is like a good place to go, but they are lower cost um, shoes that you can wear. And so Nike wasn't something that we afforded or spent our money on when I was younger and growing up. So um, those were shoes that I was just always like, man, someday I want to get some of those. I never got any from me, but got some for Lincoln. So now you can wear them because cool. they're actually the same size. We are so size 11. But it is kind of my shoe collection. That's also his. Hey, cool. back to the shelf number three, so this Jordan is, section. This is probably my favorite shelf. How many pair of Jordan ones do you have? Seven. Seven. Oh. Seven pairs of Jordan ones. So you start off with some Jordan threes. These just came out a couple months ago. I still have not worn these. These were actually kind of based on a shoe, the Jordan three UNC patent. They were going for like three thousand dollars because they have a little UNC logo on this, on this, on the tongue. Yeah. Those ones are not three thousand dollars. No. How these, much are these going for right now? I think that they're going for like 230. These are another one of my favorites right here. These are the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint. Basically this section is going to be the Jordan 1 temple or shrine for Lincoln. Lincoln has liked them for like the last year or two. And since the Jordan documentary has come out um, that was on ESPN, it's basically exploded all, all in prices. All of the prices of like Jordans have like doubled. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't really want to wear like these these newer shoes that I got during quarantine because it's like I really like them. This is another pair that I do not want to get dirty at all. These are Jordan 1 Low SB. These shoes just look so good. They are good. dirty on the bottom. Yeah, they are a little bit. But everywhere else on the shoe, they look brand new. This is a Jordan 1 Couture. Couture. Couture, 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 I don't know. sounds right. These ones have been worn a little bit more than most. People at school like these ones. I've worn them like twice to school. These are, you usually mainly wear these shoes. Yeah. Look. This is probably like the first pair that I actually bought off of the actual sneakers app. And these are Jordan 4 winterized. They have like this softer material right here that I really love. Jordan 4s is my only pair of Jordan 4s. I like the Jordan 4 style, it's just unique. Yeah, it is. Compared to the rest of them. This looks like a full on Jordan 1 shelf right here. They're at my eye level so I can pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> these are the Jordan 1 obsidians. I love the UNC color right here, University Blue. The shirt too, kind of matches pretty funny. Pretty much everything that we do. Yeah. <laughs> What's As inside. University blue. This is probably like my favorite leather on a shoe. This is probably my favorite shoes right now. Jordan 1 Hybrid. Hybrid. Band. Hybrids? They're hybrids? What? They're hybrids, like my car? Bread? Gas, no you said hybrid. Hybrid. No, Jordan 1 Bread. Jordan 1 Hybrid. High bread. Jordan 1 high bread. High bread. Okay. Hi bread. Okay. How's it going bread? These are like the original Jordan 1s. That This is like the original colorway that Michael Jordan wore in lots of his games. Jordan was new on the scene as a basketball player and in his first year he just exploded and he had like a skill level that hadn't been seen in the NBA and it kind of changed it forever. It gained up in popularity and everything. And this was the first shoe that came out with the Nike shoe deal that Michael Jordan did with Nike. He really wanted to go with Adidas and Adidas didn't want to do a deal with him back in the day. They thought they'd sell like $2 million in shoes. They sold like 120 million or something crazy. When we bought them, they were going for like $600, I think. But now I think they're up to like 1100. These are the Jordan 1 High Paris Saint Germain. This is a different material. It's not satin, it's yeah. not leather. But I, I really do like how the swoosh and this little logo up here is leather while well, the entire other shoe is a different material, so it really shines on the swoosh. Love these shoes. So these shoes, as you should be able to tell, I have not worn yet. With white and like a brighter color on the bottom of it, we actually bought for Zach, Jerry Rig, everything. He kind of looks like, like a hitman. These have a barcode on the back of the shoes, so we thought that would be perfect, so we bought a pair. I accidentally ordered two, and so now we have a pair here when we should have only had one. The barcode shows a bunch of stats. So like a Michael like a Jordan, Jordan like his total points. The leather is different. It, it's like this like leather that looks creased in a way and it has a signature on the side. Yeah, I think those are gonna stay it. cleaner than you think because of the type of leather that they used on it. This is a pair of shoes that I got from my dad as a Christmas present. The thing that I like about these is watch this. Check it out, it looks like a normal shoe and then bam, look at those colors. 
Yeah, like you don't see a shoe like that. I just like the way that they work with the pictures. I'll be honest though, like the type of the material that it has on it, it's not comfortable and it feels weird when you yeah. walk. It feels like it's gonna break. They look cool. It's a nice gimmick, but I wouldn't recommend buying those ones. We have those. tons of shoe boxes that are up here. These ones right here are super unique. Lincoln, pull one of those down. These are the shoes that I designed at Nike, the Nike Air Max 1. If you go on StockX, they actually are on there. Yeah. What were you thinking when you designed these? It was kind of like a Tesla, so it's like really shiny silver, like the color that we had at one point. And I don't know, like the... the turquoise color. Turquoise color, like it's kind of like racing stripes right here, I guess. There's a little alien guy inside of it too. Yeah, the sole of it. Little alien guy, he's green. Nike did actually produce these and put them out. The bad thing about them is, one, they only made them in kid sizes. Three youth, four youth, five youth, seven youth. It was sad, they yeah. really weren't that big. They only sold them online for like two weeks and then they just disappeared with them. So we bought like 20 extra pair just for someday. So maybe when Lincoln has kids someday, you can have them. I think we're gonna list some of them on StockX or just go in there and look for the bids and see who might want some. So if you guys if you want guys one of these. Like to buy them, we will probably list a few up there. If anybody buys any of the three to five pairs, we will take that money and give it to Lincoln. It'll be part of his shoe fund. Shoot. So yeah, you can have a shoe fund to fill out the rest of your closet. Thank you guys for watching the shoe tour. And maybe some of you did not like this kind of video, but I hope that some of you did. It's really cool. Love my shoes. Okay. Bye Lincoln. Bye. Dude, don't forget SpongeBob. Oh yeah. How do you forget SpongeBob? These are another one of my very, like all time favorite shoes, right here. Little SpongeBob Kyrie 5. This is another one like the smaller pair. Um, but it looks so cool. It's kind of like a palm tree right here, and which fits perfectly with all the other shoes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a dude inside of it. I never noticed yeah. that. Nice towel, did you take, just take a shower? Okay, do you want me to move this or something? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Keep it there, real world. Lincoln's closet, welcome to Lincoln's welcome closet. Welcome my closet. Air Force ones are super cozy. These are really cozy, they're very cozy. One of the f coziest shoes ever. These shoes are very cozy. Again, super cozy, very cozy, very cozy. Pretty cozy, they're pretty cozy. These are super cozy shoes. It's so cozy, I love these shoes. These ones are really cozy too. These are such cozy shoes. Very cozy shoes. Top three most cozy shoes, such cozy shoes. Joy rides are much more cozy. Very cozy. They are very cozy. They're so cozy. They're so cozy. They're very cozy too. They are so cozy. These shoes are so cozy. Super cozy. Give us an update once you find a special day. Okay. Hey.